What's going on today, guys? Let's get a look at one of my favorite patterns. That is the farmer's knife, or known as the sodbuster pattern. This is Jack Wolf Knives' take on it with their Pioneer Jack. Uh, you can see they've blended the look of the sodbuster design. In case you don't know what that is, we'll show you the case. They actually have the name um, trademark, so as I understand it. So this is, you know, what is the official sodbuster pattern. You can see it's highly uh, inspired by this type of pattern here, the sodbuster pattern, but with their own take on it. And I think the traditional knife community just calls these like farmer knives. So we'll call it a farmer knife from here on out. But you can see the characteristics are you've got this nice gentle curve here. Usually you get a little fatter at the heel and you have this straight blade straight edge here and then it comes up to a nice pronounced belly right so i've got a few of my favorite farmer knives here to show you some size comparisons here it is next to the k sodbuster jr and a lot of you guys if you've been around knives for any amount of time or have a grandpa or anybody who has seen a case knife at all probably knows the yellow the yellow darling sodbuster jr so you can see, heavily inspired by, but with their own twist on it. I really like what they've done with it. I'm gonna point out all the intricacies, um, but first I wanna show you some of these size comparisons because I know that's what a lot of you guys are here for. This is the GEC Farm and Field, number 71. They call it the Bull Nose. Again, they're not using the Sodbuster name either, but you can see heavily inspired by this pattern here. And you got your tip there. You got your straight portion here. You've got a nice organic with a fatter on the heel here. Let's run down the line. We've got a Madison Barlow, which I don't know if you would call this a farmer's knife pattern, but I'm going to call it that because I think you'll see. Yes, you could say Barlow. You could say Sodbuster Barlow had a baby and it was an extra large. That's what you're kind of getting with the Madison Barlow. One of my favorite knives. And I think this one was the Jack Wolf Pioneer Jack. Pioneer Jack uh, is inspired by this one a little bit too because you have your larger Barlow style bolster here. I don't quite know if I would call this a Barlow bolster. It probably should come down a little bit more towards the screw here, but I think it's close enough. I think it gives it a nice visual interest and balances this knife out to perfect visual um, balance, if that makes sense, with the larger bolster there. So you can see the tip there, a little bit of belly, well, a lot of bit of belly, straight portion here, and a nice organic handle here. They're just very basic designs. It's almost like if you told somebody to draw a knife who doesn't like knives, they'd probably come up with something very similar to the farmer's pattern. And I like that, they they work really well. They're some of the traditional knife community's favorite uh, pattern. So it's like, you know, it just works. Now this is the Benny's clip. I don't think I would call this a farmer's pattern. Again, this is a take on um, the back pocket by Tony Bowes called the Lanny's clip right here. So they call this one the Benny's clip. Again, I've already done a review on this. But you can see the similarities here. You got your nice organic, a little bit fatter on the rear, right? Straight, and then you have a pronounced blade edge profile. Not quite the same blade profile. You've got a nice big clip on the Benny's clip. Appropriate, appropriately named, right? <laughs> the Benny's clip. So, But you can see these knives are just very basic design knives. And I think the changes that he made to this being this angular swedge here, angular on the bolsters, right? And I'm gonna show you a few more angles here. Just give it a little more visual pop. Some people may like it, some people might not, but I appreciate it. And you can see this little bit larger bolster feels a little more balanced. I love the Benny's clip, but I think it would be just a little bit better. Now seeing, this larger bolster here, if this bolster came down to 
down to here, so, and then was triple threaded, but definitely not complaining. I still absolutely love this knife. It's such a workhorse of a knife. It's a lot of fun to carry. And um, let's get a look at some of the unique features of this Pioneer Jack. So you have your angular swedge here, right? And I believe that matches the angular here. And then you have your angles coming down with your triple threaded. You have angles here, a flat here, angular here. Even the back spring wraps up around and is continued a little bit down here to make a nice tight fit. You're not gonna get cut. There's no way you can reach down in there. Again, a beautiful design. You can see the thicker tip there, but you have your angles here, angles here, here, and it catches the light in real life here when you really take this thing out. It's just, you, it's, there's visual interest. And then on this back spring here, you can see a little bit of faceting. And this matches that, matches that. And then you have the organic shapes here of the knife. I think this thing just looks gorgeous closed as well. Now you can see the way this pattern is, and even with most of these patterns, uh, they're, they are pinchable, but they're more, you're gonna be pulling them with the nail nick more so than not. I have found a little bit of a workaround with this one. If you take it and just flip it over, then you can pinch it. I don't know why, it's like your front finger grabs this nail nick a little better. And then you pull the rear handle down and then you can open it. So that's how I found myself opening this. It just, obviously the nail nick works great. It's nice, sharp, crisp. If you concentrate on pulling it, you can still pinch it and pull it. But without making this get really weird, if you want this thicker handle here and you need to have it thick because one of the features of all these patterns is obviously they have this for a reason is to tuck this big belly down into the frame. And it also works in the knife pattern, right? Cause it gives you something to hold on to when you're cutting. So your hand don't, when you're cutting something tougher, these are meant for work. These are farmer's knives, right? So this has a thin hollow grind, but it does get thicker near the belly here into the tip. And you can see that on the top down. See, even the swedge rolls out right here and it leaves it with a pretty thick full tip. And because it's not super pointy, it uh, has a little bit more strength than say another, you know, thinner knife would that's behind there. I still wouldn't pry with this thing, but um, just know that. Uh, Jack Wolf knives are known for their razor thinness. This does have it behind the edge and then about right at the tip, it gets a little thicker. So that's gonna reflect in sharpening and everything. So I, uh, this one came dull. That's the only bad thing I had to say about this. And that was easily fixed with some stones and about, you know, I have diamond stones, so it didn't take me too long. I think about 15 minutes or so of love on the stones and had this thing right where I wanted it to be. It's S90V, but because it's such a thin hollow grind. There's not a whole lot of steel to remove there, even if you reprofile it. And I don't necessarily know that it was dull. I think it was just the angle was a little wider. Again, this knife is maybe a harder use traditional. So maybe they had the edge a little thicker behind the edge. And I like mine a little thinner. Put a quick little freehand edge on it. And, uh, I've just been carrying and using it. I absolutely love this thing. I really do like the angles, angular cuts on this thing mixed up with the traditional, you know, more organic shape, just in my opinion. Let's take out the prettier case knife to show against this thing. And there's nothing wrong. I'm not busting on this knife, especially for the price. You get CV steel, you got this beautiful jig bone. Please don't think I'm busting on the case knife, but um, in my opinion, there's a lot more to look at with the Jack Wolf here with all the visual interest, with the fastening, when you start to turn this thing in your hands, the bolster there, obviously the materials are quote unquote better, you know, in most people's opinion, 
Again, better subjective. Some people don't want titanium S90V. I understand it. They don't want the uh, adjustable pivot. But if you're watching this video, you probably know what you're looking at. The modernized versions of traditional patterns. And I think they nailed it out of the park. I think the size is even perfect. You see, it's very similar to the Bullnose from GEC. And again, I'll show you the packaging here in a second. I just wanted you guys to really get a look at this compared to some of the other patterns that are pretty popular in the traditional space. This, for anybody who cares, this is a Delica that's been modded out. This is just what I carry around the house. But you can see the size comparison here is very similar to a Delica. Cutting edge might even be a little bit more. Uh, yeah, it actually probably is a little more. The actual cutting edge than a Delica. One of the beautiful things about the farmer style pattern is how close you can get to that edge. If you're looking for a lot of control, you can really get up on here. When your thumb's coming under here, I do a lot of these pull drag cuts, right? When I'm cutting cardboard or whatever, your thumb can come right up to that ramp. It's, it's not individual to this knife. It's just one of the things I really do enjoy about traditional knives is the fine cuts that they make along with their razor thinness and just uh, how cool the patterns are. So again, that tip, if you want to pinch this thing open, upside down, somehow your front finger, for me, grabs that nail nick, clamp down, and then instead of pulling the blade, Blade stays still, you pull the handle. I find myself fidgeting with this knife all the time, all my slip joints, but I've just been carrying this so much. So let's go ahead and show you the packaging. I'm gonna get a little. <coughs> mm. Little coffee break. Man. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright. Whoo, it knocked the breath out of me. This thing is just so beautiful, you know? <laughs> Look at that artwork. Pioneer Jack. Got the Jack Wolf mascot with the hat on. I'm gonna lose my voice for the rest of this video, but you know what? I don't like to edit, so we're just gonna roll with it. Here's your pog cap, your slammer cap. And we get a pink microfiber on this one. get two stickers so that we can actually use one and not feel guilty about it and then you get this nice leather slip and let's do a patina update real quick as you know from all my jack wolf knives review i've been carrying this one slip for all of them this is the patina update you can actually see how it's molded to this knife this from the past few weeks of carrying this. You can actually probably even see the outline of it where it's been in my pocket. Just further proof, I actually carry and use and test these things and slice everything I absolutely can with them because I absolutely love them. So that's the Jack Wolf Pioneer Jack. And I want you guys to have a gorgeous day and I hope you enjoyed the review these are just as entertaining to make as they are to receive the new toy and line it up and compare it with the other ones. But I love sharing these things with you guys, sharing the passion. You know, nobody around the house can appreciate a 15 minute talk on some traditional patterns. And this is absolutely one of my favorite patterns is the farmer's knife and I really like the angles here with the organic shaped. Again, I like the Benny's clip. I really do. But you can see the little bit of the difference here, how this is nice and rounded, organic. It fits this knife perfect. But I also like this with the angles 
and uh, just a little bit more of a modern take, a little bit more risky, you know. I'm sure there's going to be people who are like, ooh, I don't like all the modern cuts on that, but they absolutely love the Benny's clip for all of the organic shapes, you know, just went all out on the organic. And this kind of blends a little bit of both. It kind of puts the cyberpunk with the old of the farmer's knife pattern. So there it is, guy. <clears throat> I'm sorry. There it is. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Fall has started. The weather has started to cool off here. I'm going to be doing some more uh, vlog style stuff. I just absolutely love talking knives. It is my passion. And um, I love taking you guys along for the ride. I think I've been doing this for over 15 years now. And I'm just excited to make this video as I was to make my first video. So um, I really appreciate you guys watching, especially you guys who are here 15, 16 minutes into it. You know, we have a word around here, sharp. I read all my comments, even if I can't uh, get back to all of them, I've been trying to. Um, but if you ever put sharp down in the bottom below in the comments, I know you made it to the end of the video and that goes for all my videos. You don't have to, but it does help the algorithm. If you can, give me a thumbs up. If you enjoy my videos, it encourages me to make more. It puts me on the algorithm and you know, it just helps out a ton. It's absolutely free. Subscribe, notifications, all that stuff help. Um, if you're on Reddit uh, and you're posting, th you know, content or something like that, I never see my name show up um, and not for ego's purposes or anything. But, you know, it takes a lot of effort to acquire the knives, acquire the funds to even get the knives and then to take the time out of your day to make the video. It's nice to see your videos be successful and have more views. So um, just share it around. Just let people know. If you like my channel and uh, drop me a thumbs up if you liked it. And I really do appreciate you hanging out. Code word sharp below. And I can't wait to see you on the next video.